Hello everybody, this is the King of Pigmen here yet again, and today we had two new character reveals for Dead or Alive 6. And as you guys know, I'm extremely, extremely excited for Dead or Alive 6. I'm a longtime Dead or Alive fan. Um, they went a little overboard in the last couple games with the... Well, they went a lot of overboard with the fan service in the last couple games, but I don't want to rant about that here. I already did another video. So what I did want to talk about is the two characters. So we have Rig from Dead or Alive 5. He's, a new, he's coming back from Dead or Alive 5. Um... He's a cool character, a neat addition, not my style, but I'm happy to see him back, to be honest. And then Diego, he's a newcomer completely. Never been in any Dead or Alive game, and um, he looks pretty sick. I, I have to say, I already watched the trailer and everything. The point of this video, I wanted to do a breakdown, because IGN put out probably like six or seven minutes of new gameplay. So let's watch the Diego trailer. Alright, so I'm just going to let you guys watch the trailer, all the gameplay portions of the trailer, and um, I'm, there's going to be very few interruptions because there's a lot of gameplay that I can go more in depth on right after, so just keep an eye on those grapples from Diego, they're pretty sick. Anyways, uh, let's get right into it. Alright, when I saw Diego and Rig on screen, I came to the alarming conclusion that Bayman wouldn't be announced yet. I love Bayman. <laughs> Alright, all joking aside, enjoy guys. I'll see you when the breakdown begins. All right, here we get to see Diego's Fatal Rush. Those of you who don't know what the Fatal Rush is, um, it's a new mechanic in Dead or Alive 6. There's a new button called the Special Button that involves everything to do with your meter and any of the new mechanics. And Fatal Rush is basically hitting that button like four or five times rapidly, and it lets you do an auto combo. You can tell it's a Fatal Rush by the sound effect of each hit. And then on the left side, if the opponent gets hit by it, it'll say Fatal Stun. All right, so now I just wanted to point out we have a new move from Rig, the little backflip bicycle kick thing. He didn't have that in the past. He did have this grab, though, so that's returning. It's a launching grab. It's really good. Here we have Diego utilizing another new mechanic, which is the sidestep attack. Remember that special button I was telling you about? If you input a sidestep and then hit that button, you do a sidestep attack, which is very evasive from the looks of things. All right, this next section I have a whole lot to talk about. First things first, one difference I noticed from the E3 build as soon as both people had meter is that the meter is now, like, right, look right underneath their health bar. That meter, the break gauge, has a notch in the middle now. It has two separate bars, and the E3 build is just one giant bar, just one whole bar. Now, the reason that holds significance is because there's two ways to use meter in the game, the break hold and the break blow. So the break blow is basically the power blow from Dead or Alive 5. Basically, the super move does a bunch of damage, uh, stuff like that. And then the break hold is a mechanic where um, you basically, for a brief moment, counter high, mid, and low, like all attacks. Any attack, you just counter it. And what we learned is in the E3 demo, the both of them took the whole meter. But as I'll show you here in a second, break hold now just takes half the meter, whereas break blow still takes the whole thing. So they changed it up, whereas they have different costs. I just wanted to point that out. Okay, so in case that was kind of confusing, this should clear it up some. Um, so just keep an eye on Diego and his meter. This is the current build where the meter split in half. And he goes for break hold and only loses half of his meter instead of the whole thing. And Rig just showcased how to punish break hold just like any other counter. If someone's trying to counter and they get thrown, they take extra damage. So that's how you get around uh, the break hold. Alright, so now I kind of want to talk about what Diego's doing. Uh, just like a few things um, obviously I can't go too in depth but right here he does a low into shoulder tackle now the low and then shoulder tackle isn't the two hit combo so the low doesn't stun or anything maybe on counter hit it'll be a combo it's hard to say right now but then he has this throw here that seems pretty interesting because right after he does the low punch into shoulder tackle again and the low punch makes rig stand up we don't know if it's a guaranteed force tech or if rig just didn't get up in time 
But um, that seems to be a recurring theme. You'll see Diego do it a lot. The low punch into shoulder tackle. At the very start of this next round, Diego showcases his break blow and also showcases that the break blow does indeed have invincibility on startup. Rake's foot goes right through him. As far as Diego's break blow goes, it's pretty sick. I like it a lot. I like how he points at his fist like, <laughs> like this is going to be in your face, player. Anyways, it's pretty cool. Just a small thing to note, um, Diego's break blow, number one, looks amazing when it sends Rig flying into this box. Number two, though, soon after, Diego does a raw shoulder tackle after a, like, he doesn't do the low into shoulder tackle and breaks another box. Just look at how much extra space opens up from destroying both of those. It just makes the map a lot larger. It doesn't really hold too much significance, but I just thought I'd point out that out because I thought it was neat. Here's a very important thing, though. Um... Those of you who played Dead or Alive 5, the power blow had a really long charge time. It was basically the super move of that game. And it had a really long charge time. And the only way you could... You, there was only very specific ways you could comp guarantee it. Otherwise, you had to just like throw it out and hope it landed. In this game, it's very different. There's a lot of ways to combo into the break blow. And rig showcases that you can juggle into it even which surprised me. I, I'm not sure if it, it might have to be a really high launch like the one Rig did. We'll just have to wait and see when the game comes out. And the fact that the break blow launched him into the uh, environment where the guy threw him back and Rig was able to get more damage. This map, I forget the name of it now, but you're going to be able to get some crazy damage with those uh, you know, bystanders throwing you back into the fight. It's going to be crazy. All right, guys, that about does it for all the differences and notable things I wanted to point out. Um, hopefully I didn't miss anything and hopefully I was able to point something out that you guys didn't see um, Hopefully it was you know informational enough. I'm just really excited. I'm really happy with the way the game's turning out so far. I just <laughs> I'm gonna be a broken record at the end of every Dead or Alive video. I'm gonna say I just want Bayman <laughs> I'm just waiting for Bayman. He's gonna be in there. He has to be but anyways Diego does look pretty sick um, oh, side note real quick, I wanted to mention what I think about Rig's uh, break blow, because I, I love animations and supers and stuff, I freaking love them. And Rig's is pretty much what you'd expect from Rig, just a big corkscrew kick, but no one else really has a kick yet, so it is it is cool to see that. Like, the seeing his heel just get him right in the chin looks pretty sick, but anyways, I'm going to leave you guys to watch this match. It's, it's Diego versus Rig, I'm not going to break it down or anything, because like I said, I pretty much said everything I wanted to. Um, before I rant any longer, thank you guys so much. I hope you're as excited as I am. And again, I hope this video was informational enough. And yeah, let me know if I missed anything. Don't hesitate. And thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Don't don't